When doing custom woodworking fabrication, we oftentimes have to use a jigsaw. Unfortunately, this often leads to scrap pieces of wood and dust cluttering our floors. In this video, we are going to build Oscar, a special station that will be used for jigsaw cutting that catches all wood dust in the scrap pieces of material. Let's begin. To begin building Oscar, we'll need a sheet of 3 quarter inch MDF, a sheet of half inch MDF, a PVC flange, a PVC pipe, and some adapters, along with screws. We also need a plastic garbage can. I started with this large piece of 3 quarter inch MDF, and I started to find the middle by striking lines from corner to corner. I then drew lines using this cross arc tool that intersect with the center point. This allowed me to perfectly line up one of my mobile solution circle templates and draw the circle. After drilling out my starter hole, I run my jigsaw around the inside perimeter of the circle, saving about an eighth inch of material. Now, although this hole would be functional, I'm somewhat of a perfectionist and I want it to be perfect. Therefore, I'm sticking my circle template to my piece of MDF using double-sided sticky tape and then flush trim cutting it on the router. I'm also using one of my quick radius templates to add this round over to the corner. This prevents a sharp corner from jabbing me in the leg. Again, these aren't steps that are required, but it will give my Oscar a finished professional look. I also added a round over to the inside circle, and then I even used this slide profile for the outside perimeter. These rounded profiles allow me to easily slide the workpiece piece of wood onto the top surface of the Oscar. We can now move on to assembly. We want the top of the garbage can to have an airtight seal against the top piece of wood, so I'm applying this speaker gasketing material. I then place our top surface upside down on the floor and put the garbage can on upside down on top of that. I use several half inch wood screws in order to mount the two pieces together. Now is a good time to check for any leaks in the gasketing material by looking for light. Next we need to fabricate our flange for the dust collection port. I find the center of this square piece of wood and I'm using a circle template in order to cut out a perfect circle on the inside of it. I also once again use the quick radius templates in order to add a finished look to each corner. Finally, I use my roundover bit to add a nice finished edge to all of the sides. This fabricated piece gives me something to bolt against from the inside when I'm using the PVC flange. Next, I cut a 4 inch length of my 4 inch PVC pipe. Since this pipe will need to go through the side of the container, I trace the outline of it and then cut out the outline using a jigsaw. I then use PVC glue in order to assemble the PVC pipe and PVC flange together. Once again, to ensure an absolutely airtight seal, I apply the speaker gasketing material to both sides of my new flange. I clamp the two flanges together in order to drill my quarter inch guide holes for the machine bolts. I then thread in quarter 20 threaded inserts into my wooden part of the flange. After drilling the four mounting holes, I then inserted the PVC part of the flange from the inside of the Oscar and then attached it to the wooden flange. I then attach this rubber adapter which steps the size down from 4 inches to 2 inches which I can use with my dust collection system. With our system assembled, we can now connect all our hoses and test it for the first time. A quick note, if you'd like to learn more about my miniature dust collection system, I've put a link down in the video description. In order to test the vacuum in airtight seals, I'll use a large sheet of plastic and place it over the hole. You can see that there's so much suction it actually sucks in the sides of the can. When I made my first test cut, I could tell that Oscar was doing its job. In fact, in this shot, if you look close enough, you can see that the dust is being pulled down into the hole. And the best part is, when I'm finished cutting the piece, it simply falls down into the can where I can empty it later. A special thanks to Brian from Mobile Solutions for passing along this project idea. Ideas like these are an example of what you can learn at one of the industry training classes. If you have any questions or ideas for a future video, please be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. If you would like to view my video about making a miniature cyclone, please click the link in the upper left hand corner or use the link in the video description. If you would like to help support the show with small per video donations, please visit patreon.com slash caraudiofabrication. A special thanks goes out to Kim Truong, Emmanuel Villetta, Richard Fink, Mark Brasil, Truman, Christopher Martinson, Jerry Gibson, and Jason Marble, along with all the other Patreon supporters. Thank you for your continued support.